All right, y'all. It is a Wednesday hump day. Welcome in. We have strength training. I am Christy with the TC Fit team. Let's get this timer started. We will waste no more of our precious 25-minute class here. Start your watches if you wear one. We're gonna do our knee drive. You guys know my warm-up. Strength training today, like I said, if you have settings on your watch um, that allows you to kind of choose what workout you're doing, it's strength training. You'll see we got three minutes for our warm up. We're working in three minute intervals the entire class, okay? It's a lot, I know, but we're gonna do an AMRAP, so as many rounds as possible in our three minute intervals. Let's do some bodyweight squats. So as many rounds as possible. Three minutes will pop up on the timer. We have three moves that we're gonna go through as many rounds as we can. I will give you our first example here in a couple minutes. For equipment, I have my mat behind me. We have one round on the floor, and I have some tens, and I have some fives as well. Again, three minutes is gonna get to be a lot. Give me one more squat, and let's open up side to side. You want to twist onto that opposite toe, full twist, go ahead. Otherwise, keeping your feet planted works as well. We were just talking, we're supposed to get more dang snow tonight. We are not thrilled. Give me one more each way. These always feel good. Give me some shoulder circles, parallel to the floor. And wrap as many rounds as possible. They go by really fast. Three minutes seems like a long time, and it is. Go ahead, switch your arms, but it goes by fast. Good news is, is um, one round is three moves. You will never repeat those three moves in another round. Just kind of nice. Good, give me a nice wide stance. Toes are gonna face forward. We're gonna get this lower body fired up a little bit more. Our first round is entire low body, y'all. Three minutes, entire low body, side to side. Fifty seconds, we start our first round. We're gonna stay here for 15 seconds. At that 30 second mark, go ahead, stretch, warm up, move, whatever feels good for you and your body, and I'll show you what we're doing in our first round. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, our first round. We have 10 sumo squats. You know what a sumo squat is. Toes point out just slightly, right? We have 10, your pace, dumbbells here, dumbbells here. After you finish with 10 of those, you head into 10 curtsy lunges. So back behind this leg. So usually we're on opposite tracks this way. You're gonna bring this foot to the opposite way, right? So you have five each way, 10 total. And then you're gonna stand and hit 10 calf raises, okay? And you repeat those. I'll holler them out as we go. This whole three minutes, let's go. Sumo squats, you have 10 of them. Your pace, your speed, your tempo. Everyone's gonna be working at a different pace, which is kind of nice. You take this how you need it. 10 sumos, 10 curtsy, 10 calf raise. Your curtsy lunges are five each way. And we are on these on repeat the entire class. Again, your curtsy lunges, you're dropping that back foot just slightly outside of your front foot into a different track. 10 total, sumo, curtsy, 10 calf raise in the middle. About 50 seconds into our first round. In between each round, we get 45 seconds to rest, to break, grab our water. 10 sumo, 10 curtsy, 10 calf raise. Got some joiners on, welcome. Cons about counting is I can never count. I have no idea how many I do. I'm gonna keep up with Kathy over here. See if I can do that. Sumo, curtsy, calf raise. In that order, on repeat. Over halfway in our first set here. I 
I'm literally just following you. <laughs> Got about a minute left. And again, you don't see these moves again. So hit them hard. Here we go. You might be in your calf raises still. You might be in curtsies already. Wherever you are, keep moving in this order. About 45 seconds. Chest stays up, roll those shoulders back, good. Sumo, curtsy, calf. First round, completely lower body. My legs are feeling it. Next round is completely upper body. Those are where those lighter weights might come into hand. Whew. Push this out, you guys got 10 seconds. You are working until this buzzer goes off. Whether you start a quick another round or not, keep working. Three, two, one. We have one minute, breathe it out. If you're feeling good, you wanna keep moving, keep moving, I don't care. Do more squats, do more curtsies, do more calf raises. I'm gonna show you our next round. We have bent over flies, overhead extension, and then a chicken wing fly. I'm using my fives for this round. Fives, eights, tens might be good. Bent over flies here, one, two. We're sticking with 10, three, okay? We're up to 10. Next one, overhead extend. Dumbbells up and over the head. Elbows stay tight into your head, right? You just bend and extend. 10 from here. Chicken wing fly. Elbows stay locked in at 90 degrees. Fly up and down, 10, okay? Lots of shoulders. Lots of tries, we're gonna be feeling them. Grab your light set. If you wanna start heavy and lighten it up as we go, that's okay. It's the same setup here. Three minutes, we're on in three, two, core. Tighten it up, we have 10 flies. Squeeze, squeeze. Again, this is your pace, your tempo. If you need to rest at any time in this three minutes, it's yours. Jump back in when you're ready. Flies, overhead extensions, and the chicken wing fly, that lateral raise. On your overhead extension, really important to keep our back flat, right? We're not arching the back to get the dumbbells down. Tuck in your core. Elbows staying tight to your head. Work your tries, good. 10 flies, 10 overhead extension. Elbows lock in, you fly up and up. 10 of these. Elbows stay bent. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long round. We are one minute in, two minutes to go. 10 flies, 10 overhead extension. 10 flies, standing up. Our shoulders, boy. Let's do it. It's a humbling moment when fives feel heavy, I'll tell you that. Ooh. 10 flies, 10 overhead extension, 10 chicken wing flies. Bend and extend. Y'all look good. Go work, you guys. So this is our second round. We have five rounds to get through. Five rounds to get through. Hopefully you're not following me at home because my count is off every single time. I know it is. 10 flies, 10 extensions, 10 chicken wings. Oh my gosh, shoulders. Hello, shoulders. Oh my gosh, one minute less than that. Woo. We're not even done with shoulders. We still got some shoulders left in class. Take that for what it is. Work with what you got. We are so close, less than 30 seconds. Check in on your core. What's it up to? Tighten tuck where you need. 
We are so close. You got 10 seconds. You're not stopping yet. Five, four, three, two, and a minute is yours. Drop your dumbbells, give your grip a rest. All right, good work so far. Two done, we have three to go. Our next one is all combination moves. So you're not gonna cycle through these as much as the first two rounds here, because um, there's just more to do in one move. First one, curl to press. This is where those shoulders come back into play, right? 10. We do these a lot, it's a good combo. Next one is a squat and a chest press out. You can keep two dumbbells or drop to one for that one. Normal squat, stand out in. If you wanna make it more complicated, squat out and in from the bottom of your squat, okay? That's your second round, you have 10 of those. Your third one is a narrow to a wide row. So you can grab your heavier ones for that. It's gonna look like this. You're still counting to 10 total, but you have one narrow row, out two wide row, in three narrow, out four wide. So you're just doing five narrow and five wide, alternating, all right? You guys, round three is on. Curling to press is your first move. You have 10 of these. I'm gonna start with my 10s, see how it goes. Just like those overhead extensions in our last round, James, you had different weights. I thought I did too, I had to look at mine, I was like, these feel off. Mine are the same. Anyway, just like our last round, your core stays tight on your overhead press. We're not extending your back, no arching. Keep those hips tight and tucked. <laughs> Is that a little better? <laughs> Curl to press. So squat and press out is next. I'm going to drop down to just one weight for those. You do what's best for you. So again, squat, stand to press, or squat and press at the same time. Makes it a little harder. You have 10 of these. 10 is our magic number today. After these, you have your rows. One narrow, two wide, three narrow, four wide, up to 10. Might only get through this maybe one, one and a half, two times. That's okay. It's a lot to get through in this one. For your rows, your core is tight. It's always a common theme. One narrow, one wide. Your pace. Go we'll push yourself, right? Not here to lollygag. After you're done with your rows, you are back to your curl to press. We're working constantly here. Got some shout outs at home. Christine, Aaron, Faith, Jean, Katie, Carla, MB, whoever you are, welcome, and Stephanie. Keep this up. Curl, press, squat, and press out, and the narrow and wide rows. Less than a minute, y'all. This one flew by. A lot to think about. Working on these shoulders today, oh my goodness. 40 seconds. Our next round, complete core. Gonna get that six pack today. Twenty five seconds. You're working to the end of this three minutes. I know you got it in you. Check on your core. What move are you on? Check on it. Tighten where you need to and finish this out. We got five, four, three, two. Oh, we rest. Good. Now, your next one. We have a minute to rest. For your next round, you're completely on the floor. It is your only round on the floor. You have options for this one. I'll show you what they look like. You have Russian twists. You go one, two, three, four, up to 10. Weight or no weight, it's your choice. 10 twists, then you have 10 bridges. Weights or no weights, if you have weights around the hips, right? Up and down for 10. If you wanna make it harder, go single leg, five each leg for a total of 10. And then you have 10 crunches. Dumbbells if you want them up overhead or a normal crunch, 10. Okay, if you have your dumbbells that are above your shoulders. Those are those three twists. 
glute bridge and crunch on repeat you get the pattern by now you guys we're on in 10 seconds your twists is five each way 10 total if you really want to work go 10 each way 20 total here we go three minutes is on heels are up off the floor or resting regardless your spine is long 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 lift your chest i'm going for the 20 10 each way again five is your goal 10 if you're pushing it 10 twists 10 bridges 10 crunches again double or single leg for your bridges double is 10 single is five each goal for your bridges is to keep your core tight <laughs> weird i know twist bridge crunch twist bridge crunch that's your sequence this is already round four of five we only have one more after this twist bridge crunch we're crushing it in the studio we're cruising at home keep this up twist bridge crunch Get your shoulder blades up off the floor in the crunch. Let's go. We are over halfway in this round. Your core. Good, good, good. All right, my core is on fire. Feels good. Twist, bridge, crunch. Hang in there, you guys. We've got, oh gosh, six, seven, seven minutes left of class. Finish this round one more, and we stretch. Give me 20 seconds of core work, and you are off the hook for core. Kind of, our last round is a sneaky core. <laughs> a little bit of cardio, but all strength in our last round. Push us out, come on. Give me five, three, and one. Good, again, if you're feeling good, keep working. Pick your favorite move of those three and keep moving. Otherwise, it is rest time. All right, y'all, third and final round. No one's dropped yet, good job at home. Stay with me, we made it this far. Okay, next round, we got dumbbell swings. We are done with our mat for the day if you wanna kick that out of the way. Medium to heavy pound. Swings, okay, 10. These go by fast. All of that movement's from your hip. It's not a squat to a shoulder raise. You're using your momentum from your hips to swing your dumbbell, right? 10 of those. Then you hit 10 wood chops. Does not matter which side you start with, because you have to do the other side anyway. So hip, swing opposite shoulder, hip to shoulder. 10 one way, 10 the other, and you're back to your swings, all right? It's our last round. In five, three, two, one, tight core, here we go, swing. You have 10. Little cardio, you're gonna start to feel your breathing rate and your heart rate come up just a bit. All still strength though. 10 swings, 10 chops. Feel free to switch your weights as you need to. Baby squat and swing. Squat and swing, yes, good. You have 10 one way, 10 the other way, and you're back to the swings. Squat and swing, baby. Again, you're using momentum. Ooh, swing your dumbbell up. 
every rep. Whew. Whew. Good. My braids aren't hitting me in the head. <laughs> it feels good. Here we go. Swings or chops, wherever you are. Good. Good. Y'all are perfect in here. At home, you gotta match our energy. This is our last class of the week. Hate to break it to you. <laughs> we do not have class tomorrow. It is in studio only, usually on Thursdays. We are canceled this week because we have the fitness center get together. It's a little party we're throwing. There'll be some Sodexo catering. There'll be some prizes, there'll be some games. So come join us then. But for now, you got one more minute to work for me for the week. Ooh, my breathing rate. Heart rate's at 154 on my end. Ah, we are so close. So last round. Push it out, 30 seconds. Our shoulders. I apologize in advance. Oh my gosh. We're going for 20 seconds. 20 seconds of class. Ha. Ah. 10. Give me five. Three, two, one. Ah. My grip, fingers are hurting. We have three minutes to cool down, to stretch. You guys, it's well deserved. Those are not easy workouts. Let's start with our lower body, work into our upper body. I'm gonna have you go onto one of your tiptoes. Just press your ankle forward. Stretch it through the top side of your ankle. So you're, what? Do you feel the top side of your, if you go like this and press, press your foot down, you feel? No. You're like, it doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. We'll switch it up. From this position, back into your little hamstring stretch. A familiar one there. Good. All right, we'll stand and switch. If the ankle one's not working, just go right into your hamstring stretch. We'll only be here for about 10 seconds or so. I can feel it differently on this ankle. I sprained this one a while ago and I can still feel it. And go ahead, shift back into your hamstring stretch. Um, in other fun news, we're doing a snowshoeing event in February, if anyone likes snowshoeing. That'll be on a Thursday, I think it's the 23rd. Be a couple hours long. He'll be in there for just one hour of that session. Go ahead and cross one of your wrists or wrist, arms over. <laughs> a good hump day workout. We're done. Go ahead and switch and swing. What should I get for lunch today, guys? Salad bar, that's, that's always a good choice, salad bar. Good, arms come up overhead. We're gonna stretch to the right side. If you're in the studio, I'm obviously going to the left. Doesn't matter which side. Big core stretch. Oh, the croutons. Okay, other side, you guys go ahead and switch. Oh, that one always feels so good. You're gonna come to the center and I'm just gonna fold forward and reach for your toes. Stretch your low back. Obviously your hamstrings a little bit. The floor, your toes, ankles, shins, wherever you can reach. We are gonna slowly roll your body up. 
inch by inch, take your time. No one's getting dizzy or lightheaded. You guys, that's all we have for our class today. 10 seconds on the clock. Good job, everybody. I am so ready. I'm feeling good. Thank you for joining. We will be back in action on a normal schedule. You're welcome, Faith. I see your message. Back in action, normal schedule next week, okay?